So in this video, I'll show you how I painted the interior of the ferret, painted the outside using Revell paints, painting a brake light and painting jerry cans. So I've partly assembled the kit, left some of the sides out because I'm going to paint the inside as well as the outside, obviously. Uh, jerry cans are on coffee stirrers and the panels are on some crocodile clips and skewers I've used to put the wheels on so I can paint them a little bit more easier. So these ones I've actually super glued on. So we'll see how we get on with these. So the next phase, I'm gonna paint the inside with aluminium. I've got this uh, Vergio paint. Um, I'm gonna put some drops of this in so I don't get the dry tip on the end of the airbrush, which seems to happen a lot to me. And obviously um, this is model air so in theory you don't need to put any um, airbrush thinner with it but we'll, we'll just see how it goes So <clears throat> some of the internals have got to be painted with um, Umbral 75, which is bronze green. Now I've got an awesome old enamel. I quite like the look of that, but I might use an enamel wash in there. So that might be an issue. Um, I've got bronze green in Velejijo. Um That might be all right. It's, uh, it's that on there. That might be all right. It's not quite doesn't look as good and then I've got Revell which looks a bit light but there again I will be putting a wash on it so I think I'll probably go down the route of the Revell because it's acrylic paint and then I can put the enamel wash on and it'll probably darken up anyway uh, when I've put it and you won't really see much of it anyway um, I guess but I really do like the, the Humbrel 75. So I've got to paint the seats now. The instructions say Umbra 85, which I think is sort of coal or something. Um, I haven't got that, but I have got this Revell sort of anthracite. So that's going to do. So let's get on and do that. Thank you. 
So the silver's a bit, mm, it's flaking away a little bit as it, when I've caught it, when I've been brushing, painting the other things. So it could be because it was a bit crap, the um, the coat before, um, when I changed, because if you remember, I changed paints from aluminium to sort of steel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a coat of this stuff on, thin down with this, sort of 50-50, and then what that will do, it will seal in all the paints there, and um, I'll put sort of a panel wash on, um, so I won't put it all out everywhere because it's hard to get in anywhere, but I'll put it into little places, and then hopefully um, it won't be, I won't have to do too much work to get it to do what I want it to sort of do. So let's have a go. So this is fully dried now. I left it overnight. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build, well, I'm not going to build. I'm going to create um, a wash, just a black wash from scratch. So let me show you how I do it. Uh, just a tub from a, a takeaway I've had. I've got some black oil paint. 502. Don't need a lot. And then you can always add some more later. <clears throat> so I tend to use whatever. I, I wouldn't use sort of Tamiya because I've obviously used Tamiya paints or um, uh, Vergio paints and things. Um, but I tend just to use something that's opposite or different. I know it's enamel, but it just seems to work for me. So it's now dried, it's not too bad. I don't think it needs much work. Um, the wash that is. Uh, you can see some of the areas. Um, it did take a little bit to dry. So you can see it there. I don't think I'm gonna do any more sort of work to it because I was quite careful where I put it. So the next thing is we're gonna sort of build it all back up. So I've put some foam just into the holes, not into the back. I think I might get away with it because it's pushed through. So let's have a go.
So I really like this collar um, from Ravel. Um, it was supposed, in the instructions, it talks about using 75, as I probably mentioned earlier. Um, I've only got enamel in this, and I, I just really liked the colour. Um, I've never had much success with painting with, uh, well, spray painting with Ravel, but I had another little go. Um, you don't need to thin it that much. It, it looks quite thick, but I basically put some of this stuff in. So maybe 30%, maybe as a guess. And I also, because I, I do find with Ravel, you get um, sort of uh, the, the tip drying quite easily. So I'll put some air flow improver through. I don't think it was sort of the best, but I'm, I'm sort of really sort of happy with, uh, with the results. 